So what is a CT coronary calcium score? Uh, I get a lot of patients that went and got a heart scan or their doctor sent them for a CT scan of the chest um, and they come back with a uh, calcium score and or maybe they had a chest CT for their lungs but it came back as there might be some calcium in their coronary arteries. Um, so what does this mean? Now sometimes um, the patient is completely asymptomatic, has zero symptoms. They come and say, hey doc, I got this heart scan. It says my calcium score is 1200. So 1200 is quite a lot. I even had some people with calcium scores of 3000. This means that you have a lot of calcium built up in your coronary arteries. Now this means, this may or, not, may, or may not mean anything. Um, it kind of depends if you have zero symptoms and you've been a smoker um, all your life, but you quit. Calcium generally means you have stable plaques. Now, a lot of times if they do it as a CTA with a CT coronary angiography where they inject dye and watch the blood flow through those arteries, we can tell if the lumen or like the opening of the artery is actually blocked. So if there's no blockages and they, or they really can't tell, a lot of times it's not that easy to tell. But if they can't tell, then you're, you're probably fine. Um, so what do you do with somebody with a calcium score of like 3,000? So if they have no symptoms, um, you, you, you can stress them. You can say, hey, look, he doesn't have normal CT, has you know, severe coronary artery disease, let's do a CT, let's do a stress test and see what happens. Now, normal is usually a calcium score under 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, something very, very minimal. Usually over 100, we start to get worried, but usually 400 and up is kind of like, okay, you have something. And that's when we kind of get worried. So definitely somebody with a thousand, um, you you can you you can justify doing a stress test or some other kind of workup. Now if they're young and they're like you know I never smoked in my life. I somebody sent me for this test. I don't know why and it came back abnormal. Do I need to do anything? And they're like I run marathons and I'm I'm in great shape. You probably don't need to do anything. Um, but definitely use kind of like your clinical judgment to find out what you what how this person feels, how they're acting what signs or symptoms they have. If they have symptoms and they have a calcium score that's high, uh, you definitely can do a stress test and, and even maybe even do a cardiac cath. If they come in saying, I, uh, if they have like unstable angina-like symptoms, they come in saying, you know, every time I walk and when I get to the 100 yard mark, I get short of breath and I get squeezing chest pain. I stop, rest a little in like five, 10 minutes, it goes away. I start up again, same exact spot, it happens again or anything similar to that, like unstable angina um, or, or even stable angina, you probably could justify just doing a cardiac cath. So definitely make sure you know uh, what to look for and what not to look for, but that's kind of the summary of calcium score. If you like this video, there's a whole bunch more here that you can watch.